Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another Terraria video. Today I'm going to be showing you the things you must do after defeating the Wall of Flesh and entering Hard Mode. Hard Mode can be a tricky and evil place to start with because all the amazing weapons you gathered in Normal Mode are pretty much rendered useless. So you want to get good weapons and useful tips fast and that's what I'm here to help you with. So first up, I have an awesome mage weapon that I highly suggest you get and that weapon is the Crystal Serpent. This magnificent mage weapon deals high damage to hard mode enemies and will really help defending yourself against many bosses like the mechanical bosses and even Duke Fishron if you have a good arena. You can get this weapon by fishing in the newly spawned Hallow biome in your world. It has a 1 in 200 chance to be obtained by fishing in the Hallow in any layer of the world. Next on the list is fishing to gather crates. This is because you can get some really good hard mode ores out of these crates. You can also do this whilst you are fishing for the Crystal Serpent for some awesome multitasking action. You will need to get these hard mode ores as quickly as possible. So you can either destroy Demon and Crimson Altars to get the ores to spawn in your world or you can fish for the crates to get them. You can craft some great armour and weapons with these ores which should carry you quite far through hard mode. The next one on the list is quite a big priority and that is to buy yourself some Leaf Wings from the Witch Doctor. As long as the Witch Doctor is housed in the jungle biome and it's night time you should be able to buy yourself some leaf wings for one platinum coin. The leaf wings are some of the best wings in the game. They are brilliant and highly useful in hard mode, especially early hard mode. Equipping the wings makes it much easier to dodge attacks from bosses and enemies. For the next tip, I know I mentioned this one in my last video, I will link that in the top right corner of the screen, but if you don't have time to mine out 4-6 to six block wide tunnels manually around your precious biomes, then you should build a tunnel with bombs instead. Bombs have a blast radius of 6 blocks and this is perfect to make sure the Corruption, Hallow and Crimson can't contaminate the areas you have cut off. This allows your biomes to stay in pristine condition so they don't get taken over. When you feel you are ready to take on the evil mechanical bosses, I would recommend building yourself a good arena to fight them in. This will make your battle much easier and increase your chances of winning instead of dying. You will want to defeat the mechanical bosses because they drop the Hallow bars which are great for making armour and weapons like the Excalibur, which is a melee sword, and the Hallowed Repeater, which rapidly fires arrows. If you want a summoner's weapon, you should definitely think about crafting the spider staff. This staff summons a small spider which follows the player and launches itself at nearby enemies. To craft this amazing summoner's weapon, you will need to obtain 16 spider fangs, which drop from the Black Recluse spiders after it has been killed. Black Recluse spiders have a 75% chance to drop 1-2 to two spiders fangs, but if you're in an expert mode world, the drop chance will increase to 100%. The black recluse enemies can be found in spider biomes throughout your world. These enemies are quite tough and take little knockback, so be very cautious when trying to kill them. They also deal large amounts of damage and inflict the venom debuff on your character. Thank you guys for watching this Terraria video, be sure to share the video if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. I hope you found some of these tips and tricks useful and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.